I've done a lot of soul searching on like, what is drag and where do I fit into that? I think the answer that I like the most is that it is an expression of pure queer joy. Welcome to Lips Atlanta! My name is Joshua Rackliff, and I'm a drag queen named Brigitte Bidet, and I live in Atlanta, Georgia. Bridget, but French, and a bidet, like that thing in the hotel that you wash your face in. Anyways. <laughs> Brigitte Bidet is a showgirl and MC. Brigitte Bidet is a star. What makes drag so joyful for me is the response of joy that I get from the audience. It's like, yeah, oh my god! If you're ready to see a drag show, make some noise. I've literally had people be like, after watching you perform and seeing your confidence and your joy, I was able to be comfortable with my own sexuality. So I was like, oh my god, you're welcome. <laughs> Brigitte's aesthetic is very Y2K. I'm super influenced by like Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera, pink, feathers, rhinestones. I used to think rhinestones were so tacky and now I'm like, if it doesn't have a rhinestone on it, I don't even want to look at it. It has to sparkle and shine, otherwise it's just like, who's that drunk girl dancing at the bar? <laughs> And yeah, you can go on variations and switch it up. And there are no rules, like I said, but I love knowing exactly how to get to Brigitte. I love to channel all those girly, gay things that I couldn't wear when I was little or in that era. Growing up gay in the suburbs of Atlanta was challenging because I felt like I was the only person like me. I would get bullied for being gay and being feminine and all of those things are what makes my drag amazing now. To be able to reference that time in my life where I felt like I couldn't be myself, but now to have that as an aesthetic for a drag character is like the ultimate empowerment. Like I wish my little gay self could have known that's what was coming. And I hear a lot of drag queens say that, which is really beautiful. I realize now that being a drag queen is kind of its own gender identity. You're not necessarily cis because you cross the line in terms of gender expression. It's fun to be in the middle of that. I feel like it gives me like a bigger understanding of the world just by not being normal. I consider myself classically trained because I went to school for dance. My degree is in dance making, which is so pretentious, like, oh my god. I came from this dance world where every piece of art had to have so much meaning behind it, and now it's like, if I want to just dance to Britney Spears for three and a half minutes and like do a split, and shake my ass. There is commentary on society. There is pulling apart gender and class. It can take you to such exciting places that I was not really getting in the art world. Through that, the rah-rah of a drag show can lead to, hey, can you speak at this political rally that we're doing? Or, hey, there is a group of queer kids who want to try drag um, for the first time. And so from that seemingly just fun party woohoo moment becomes the way to empower people and make your community a better place and all these things that we want to do as people. And that's another thing I love about drag and mentoring. It's a really cool, like, form of queer history. It's like I'm in a place now where I can share my own experiences with people and help them discover themselves too. And it's truly just like a, a force that is so much larger than me as a person. That is like, oh my god. <laughs> 
I think the natural progression of my career is more live shows, one woman show. I dream about having a residency in P-Town, being on a cruise ship, traveling the world. Basically seeing the world and connecting with as many people as possible through Brigitte Bidet. And she's connected with a lot of people. <laughs>